For years, we've been told to limit how much saturated fat we eat to limit our risk of heart disease. Now, a review has looked at dozens of studies on the subject of what we should be choosing for our meals, and it's reached a surprising conclusion. Ron Charles explains. For decades, this has been seen as the enemy, sometimes referred to as a heart attack on a plate. Food with saturated fat, or what some doctors call bad fat. I avoid red meat, I avoid um, processed food. But new research suggests saturated fat may not be as bad as was previously believed. The research, published today in the Annals of Internal Medicine, reviewed 72 studies and trials involving more than 600,000 people in 18 countries. That's just about all of the recent research looking at fat and heart disease. The researchers found no correlation between saturated fat and heart attacks or death from coronary disease. What's been wrong is, is the idea the, the, that we could take a single nutrient like saturated fat and use that to try to explain or do away with heart disease when, when you know, it's much more complicated. He says early studies linking saturated fat to risk of heart disease mainly looked at one thing, bad cholesterol. Nutritional scientists say while saturated fat does contribute to higher cholesterol, that doesn't mean heart attacks or death necessarily follow. This study is nice is it's not just looking at cholesterol, but it's actually looking at heart disease risk, kind of the real hard endpoints, which is the big picture and what we, what we really have to aim for. At Toronto's Irish Embassy pub, they weren't just celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Some people also raised a glass to news of the study's findings. Wow, that's great news. <laughs> Bring on the burgers. <laughs> not so fast. The researchers warn their study is not a license to gorge on cheeseburgers. The conclusion is not that saturated fat is beneficial, right? That's, that's not a conclusion. And certainly a cheeseburger with its sodium and processed bread is really not a healthy choice. Uh, what we're saying is that, you know, saturated fat by itself is not very predictive for heart disease. One thing today's research did reinforce is that eliminating trans fats from food is a good idea. Studies suggest the man-made fat does raise the risk of heart disease. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto. Well, joining us now with more on this, our medical contributor, Dr. Peter Lin. So here we go again. For years, we're told one thing. Now, suddenly a 180 on this. What's your take? Yeah, it's very confusing. We told you saturated fats are bad, and then people stopped eating that, and they started eating carbohydrates. Then they said carbohydrates are bad for you, causes diabetes, insulin resistance, those kinds of things. Then people switched to protein, then they said too much protein is no good. And now we're going right back and saying, well, saturated fat isn't so bad. So it's very confusing. And I think what all the researchers are saying is let's not pick on one nutrient. In other words, we need them all. So therefore, the whole goal of this is to balance these things out, not to pick on one and say, this explains everything or this explains everything. We need balance between all of them. Okay, well, what's balance then? What are, what are you recommending that we eat? I think what we do is we eat reasonable amounts. I think we all eat too much. We all eat excessively. And so what we need is a bit of everything. So therefore, make it colorful, make your plate different colors, and that way we make sure that you have multiple varieties of food as opposed to one specific type of food. What about that lady who says, bring on the burgers? Oh, I is love that it. Part, so, is that part of the plate? I know my patient is gonna be saying that. Burger once in a while is okay, but let's say you ate that every single day. Now all of a sudden what you're getting in there is no longer balanced. Similarly, we were thinking maybe we'll just take a pill. So people were saying, why don't we just take the good fats in a pill? And what they found is that that didn't work. And it makes sense, right? If you eat burgers, you're taking this much fat, that little pill isn't gonna help. So bottom line is go after the whole foods. In other words, the fish with the omega-3 might be good and balance your diet out and eat a little bit less of everything. What you're basically saying is common sense. Exactly. All right, Dr. Lin, thanks very much. Thanks, Peter.